Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming to the office today, Jennifer. Um, I'm glad that you've come to see me. I understand you're having overactive um, bladder symptoms, like you're always going. Yes. So let's go over um, the um, kind of the full assessment. Uh, you did a intake and a um, kind of tracking your um, your output for me. Yes. And you know you did some you did it on a timed schedule. So I've got that information. And but what I found out with Jennifer is that um, she has had two um, C sections. So she did not have um, her babies through the natural way. And then, um, so she has two children. She had a hysterectomy in um, 1999. Yep. Okay. And um, so um, she currently takes um, low sartan um, Kozar. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. And it's 25 milligrams. Yes. Okay. And um, you've been on that for a couple of years. Yeah, about two. Yeah, okay. Um, you also take Zyrtec, right? Yes, Okay. daily. Okay, and then, um, so both of those have what we call anticholinergic effects. That means you get kind of dry and thirsty. Um, and it looks like you, um, you talked to me about um, that you had your gallbladder out in 2007. Yes. You've not had any... Um, um, neurological problems and we did the exam and your exam showed me that you're neurologically intact from the waist down and you t you know your bowel bladder everything functions your continent um and um cardiovascular you have some hypertension which is why you're on the blood pressure medicine um <clears throat> and then um bowel sounds are positive um you have been diagnosed with ibs and but that's more food related from my understandings and then you you tend to be on the diarrhea side and don't have any trouble with constipation correct is that right yep and then um you have um painful intercourse um because of the menopause um but it doesn't prevent you from having it yeah okay and then you do not have any thyroid problems no. never been told you have diabetes no nope. excellent um when we did the um, intake and output diary and just the um, timing of it all, um, what I understand is that um, you go every, basically every hour. Yes. Is that right? And then can you tell me a little bit more about um, when you go, when it hurts, how often you go, what you're taking in? Um, I drink a lot of water. I try to drink six to eight ounces of uh, glass, six to eight glasses of eight ounces a day, just just for weight loss and try to stay hydrated and stuff, especially with taking allergy medicine. And then I do drink Diet Coke, um, a couple of the bottles a day. Um, and I feel like I have to go a lot, a lot of, you know, there's some pressure and just some urgency. Um, you know, I don't stay too far away from my bathroom if if helpful. I don't do a lot of shopping or. Sometimes even swimming in the pool, you just feel like you just got to go too much. So I'm, you know, run to the bathroom an awful lot. Um, work, it just makes it hard when you're working at your computer, your desk, and you got to sign out, you talking to a customer, you know, and you feel like you got to go to the bathroom. So there's just a lot of urgency sometimes feeling like I've, I've got to go, some pressure. And then do you drink any other caffeinated beverages or anything that has bubbles in it, carbonation? Just the Coke, Diet Coke. Okay, okay. So we've got a couple things going. We've got... Um, the um the artificial sweetener is actually a bowel irritant um and the um diet coke and then the um losartan kozar it's pulling water from your system so it's making you go and that's to treat your hypertension and then zyrtec um keep start has an anticholinergic effect so it keeps you dry and it actually can irritate your bladder as well so um we're going to talk about um that in a counseling session and kind of help you to um, manage things um, so that things get, back, get better and you're not always going to the bathroom. How's that? Yes, please. 
Okay.